What's up guys and gals, Jared here with another high energy action thriller of a movie review. So Tom Cruise is a madman. Throughout this whole Mission Impossible franchise, he does his own stunts and they only get wilder each time. And the new film Mission Impossible Fallout is no exception. So how wild are these stunts? Let's find out. So Mission Impossible Fallout is sort of this direct sequel of Rogue Nation. There has been a theft of three nuclear atomic cores by a shady group calling themselves the Apostles. It is Ethan Hunt and the rest of the IMF team to track down these cores and stop massive destruction. However, as things progress, Ethan Hunt is under a magnifying glass from CIA and Agent August Walker, played by Henry Cavill, and his sick mustache. No, seriously, look how sick it looks. It is really great that he didn't have to shave it off for anything. Um, sorry. Anyways, he is escorting Hunt and watching his every move, and then it is revealed that Solomon Lane may be behind the Apostles and the nuclear weapons. Holy cow, Mission Impossible Fallout is just this great action movie. Everything in the movie flows so easily and well between one another. There's a lot of twists and turns, and honestly, it's just a fun time at the movies. For example, the action set pieces in this film are out of control. They're awesome. Like Tom Cruise doing car chases, motorcycle chases, jumping out of an airplane at 25,000 feet. He's running a lot. He jumps across a building and breaks his leg. No, seriously, this shot is actually in the trailer and the movie. Tom Cruise jumps across a building, breaks his leg, ankle. He breaks something. My leg! There's also awesome hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes, shootouts. I could talk about this action all day, but let's get into some of the characters. Mostly all of the IMF team members are returning in this film, along with Henry Cavill as August Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Just kidding, he's not a Texas Ranger. But this added counterpart adds this interesting dynamic to the team because his methods are a bit brutal of handling things. Also, Rebecca Ferguson is back with this sort of mysterious agenda, kind of working on her own team. The story in Mission Impossible Fallout was another highlight of the film. It had these tones of twists and turns, the action was top-notch, and there was this tension throughout most of the movie. Like I mentioned earlier, it was just a fun time at the movies, and it was also more of a direct sequel because the villain was kind of returning a lot of the other characters, and the whole plot or whatever was kind of connected to Rogue Nation. Another thing was the homages that Christopher McQuarrie kind of filmed that were reminiscent or reflective of other Mission Impossible movies that came prior. For example, a couple of the scenes felt like they were straight out of the first Mission Impossible. The motorcycle ch chases felt like they were out of Mission Impossible 2. Christopher McQuarrie did a fantastic job of directing this film and really giving the audience everything that they wanted in a Mission Impossible movie. Him and Cruz definitely stepped it up from Rogue Nation and I can only assume that they'll get the next one and how crazy that one will be. Now if I had to mention any negative associated with this film or things that didn't really work. I mean, mind you, this is a great film. Tons of action. Really, really fun. I would probably have to say that it's the villains or kind of more depth of certain characters. Again, Solomon Lane returns in this and there really isn't much to his character. He's just kind of this presence in the background. Also, the addition of Vanessa Kirby's broker character. I just thought that there'd be more to this character. Oh, and one last thing. Yes, Tom Cruise runs in this film and boy does this guy run. It's like five miles in four minutes. Tom Cruise running at its finest. Overall, Mission Impossible Fallout is a top-notch action movie and probably one of the most fun, best times you'll have at the theater this year. With some awesome action, lots of twists and turns, a well-put-together story, and of course Tom Cruise running, but with some of the side characters not fully being fleshed out, I would highly recommend checking out Mission Impossible Fallout. Again, it's one of the best movies this year, and these Mission Impossible movies just keep getting better and better. So what do you think of Mission Impossible Fallout? Is this the best action movie you've seen all year? Or are you really getting tired of this Mission Impossible franchise? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Stardust. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget about that Gleam link for the contest giveaway down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.